What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to go over things you may have missed from the recent IGN interview with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy on their vision of Destiny 2. The gameplay we saw showcased a few things which I believe some of you may have missed uh, which I'm going to cover in this video. Some of them are extremely interesting to discuss but before we go any further if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a like is much much appreciated. If we could reach 3000 likes that would be absolutely absolutely epic. Okay so let's start. At the very beginning of the gameplay we saw, we see what's been speculated to be a new exotic weapon. Although it does look pretty unique in design, to say it's an exotic for certain would be misinformation. But it does look pretty damn epic, it really does. Especially that iron sight and the camo it seems to have. Another interesting thing about this scene is the actual place this guardian is. At first I thought it was the speaker's room within the tower, but I can confirm that this is actually Falwinter's Peak, the Iron Temple. Check out the footage on screen now. This is the exact place we see, like I said, within the Iron Temple. So I'm guessing we go there as part of a mission or a quest. Now I can tell you guys, going on what Bungie said yesterday about Tyra Khan surviving the attack, who was based at the Iron Temple, that the Iron Temple was also attacked by the Red Legion. So us revisiting this place has to be for something elusive, which I can't wait to find out more on. Now here is something pretty interesting, and that's these ships. Notice all the ships are the exact same model, yet all hold a different colour scheme. Does this confirm share these four ships? Wouldn't that be awesome? They all also seem to have the same hunter sigil on the tops of them. Now does this represent the actual guardian class or is it applied in another way also? Who knows? Okay so next up we get a decent look at the world map. The world being Nessus and it shows some pretty interesting details. Most of all the Nessus treasure map. Here we can see the icon to treasure maps and there are a few on each planet. We also get to see the public event icon. This is actually epic as it shows the time the public event is coming. Also notice the potential rewards. The actual engram rarity icons have changed to actually engrams. Nothing major but I think it's a pretty cool addition. We also see these kind of down arrows on the map. These I believe are simply landing zones as we know the planets will be much bigger in scale compared to Destiny 1 so it makes sense of there being landing zones to get access to certain parts of the map much much quicker. We also get to see the adventure icon as one gets hovered over. This adventure is called Release. It reads, the Fex appear to be capturing the Fallen and failsafe once it's stopped. Failsafe being the new AI which we do here at the start of the inverted spire strike. We need to know why. Failsafe, are you online? Commander, your favorite AI is primed and ready. I have prepared backdoors into several key Vex systems. We have detected a series of seismic disruptions. The Cabal may be responsible. Obviously failsafe is exactly what its name is. A failsafe AI for when crap hits the fan, which it has. Also notice that the reward here is a rare piece of gear. And us, we obtain 90 combatant power. Now I do have a video coming out explaining what I believe combatant power is, so stay tuned for that. We also have this icon on the right of the screen, which normally indicates mission so to speak, but I do believe this could be the new Lost Sector feature. So what are Lost Sectors? Well they are a new addition, these special dungeons are sprinkled throughout the world and offer up a reasonable challenge in exchange for some new armour and weapons for your collection. Now the last thing to mention right here from this actual video is this on screen now which in my opinion confirms the Warlock Voidwalker subclass. Although we didn't actually see it in action I can confirm that that is what this is. Here from one of the very first trailers we can see a Warlock throwing a Nova Bomb and this showcase of the actual class abilities in my opinion confirms the addition of the Voidwalker subclass. Now to end the video we're going to end on details of the beta which have just been released. So with the beta we will be able to play the first mission homecoming. We will be able to play countdown which is a brand new pvp mode where you have to attack and defend the base on a map custom built to support this new game type. You've probably seen plenty of pvp footage uh, from destiny 2. All of what you've seen well 99% of it will be from this new game mode countdown. We will also get to play Control on a map built with this game mode in mind which is going to be epic. We also get to play the inverted spire strike. We will also get to use the three new subclasses, Dawnblade for the Warlock, Arc Strider for the Hunter and Sentinel for the Titan. 
and also on the 23rd of July the farm will open up for us to explore for a single hour but keep in mind though that most vendors and services will be offline but you will be able to play football it's also important to mention that all progression from the beta that you do will not carry over into Destiny 2 upon release. And to end the video, if you do take part in the beta, you will be given an exclusive emblem when Destiny 2 drops on September 6th. But guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, hitting that like button is much appreciated on my behalf. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, be sure to hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, and I will carry on, never get it right.